Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. Today's episode, we're installing the passenger side rocker on the 67 Camaro. So be sure to stick around. It's been a little while since I made a video, but I've been busy trying to mock everything up, starting with the rocker, the inner structure, the quarter panel, and the roof skin. And the last time you saw it, I completely cut it apart. I cut the roof skin off, the rear quarter, I removed the roof structure on the passenger side, the passenger rocker, and it was just a shell that wasn't braced and it needed a lot of work. A lot of people were concerned about the fact they didn't brace it, and people were saying, why don't you just buy a brand new Dynacorn body? Well, this car has a lot of good life left in it. There's a lot of good parts in it and a lot of good American-made steel, original steel left in it. I didn't brace the car because, well, stuff was in the wrong spot. That's why I was removing stuff. Whenever we removed all the paint, there was a really big door gap on the passenger side. There was a big kink in the roof structure. So if stuff wasn't lining up, the package tray was in the wrong spot. So if I would brace everything to the wrong spot, What's, what am I accomplishing? It's already in the wrong spot. So I left everything unbraced so that way everything can move, but the car is not gonna fold into a pretzel. I'm not jumping inside of it. It still has the frame rails on it. The floors are beautiful and the driver's side is perfectly strong. In just a couple minutes, I got the car tore back down. I have the rocker out. I went and straightened this flange a little better. I primed in here and I need to paint it and spray some bed liner in there. I'm doing the same with the rocker and this little extra piece for the rocker. I'm gonna get everything in place. So I have the rocker pretty much ready to install on the car. I start out by cleaning it, scuffing it, priming it, painting it, then putting bed liner on the inside. That way this thing is sealed really well. Then I went and drilled a bunch of holes, punched some holes, and then I went over it and sanded them all to get the paint off. I'll put weld through primer on here, but I also wanted to get all the burrs off so that way everything fit nice and tight. And then I prepped this area over here. For this piece, it sits in here. So what I'm gonna do is install this whole assembly on the car, Clico it, clamp it in place, but I'm only gonna weld this little guy to the rocker first. I'm gonna start off by tacking it and getting it where I like it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rocker off the car and do these plug welds in here and put maybe a couple little stitch welds in here and I'll plug weld these, grind these flush, and then we'll put bed liner back on the inside, put some more weld through primer on here, and then I'll weld the rocker onto the car. I did the same thing on the car with the bed liner paint primer and then all the holes. So I'm gonna plug weld from the inside of the car onto the rocker here, because I really can't get a MIG gun in really well from this side. And then for the bottom, I'm gonna come in and weld the rocker to the car because the car's double walled, that's not gonna burn through, and I have better access on the outside. So. I have all those holes here. There's a couple holes I have in the car in the front that line up here that I drilled spot welds out. I have a couple of holes here to go into that reinforcement. And then I'll just have a little splice to do in here, butt weld that.
I welded in this little rocker extension piece here. I plug welded it from the top, put a couple of stitch welds on it, took it off, welded the inside really solid. I welded the heck out of that thing. And then I went and shot some more primer and bed liner in there to keep everything from rusting. And now I have a ton of clamps in here keeping the pinch weld nice and tight. So I got the rocker welded on. I started with this flange, then I worked on the bottom flange, worked in a little bit in the front, and then worked on my splice right there, filled all that in. Now this thing needs a good bit of grinding, which I'll do off camera, but I'm pretty happy with it. It started to sink just a little bit in the back, but I think that's okay because we were having some height issues in the back, getting the quarter and the inner structure to fit. So I'm actually okay with that, surprisingly. I think it moved in the right way where it kind of where it wanted to live. But overall, it turned out real nice. So now that is a nice solid foundation. You can see if the door will stay about where it's supposed to. It's a pretty nice even gap the whole way that's pretty workable. And the door is pretty much flush with the front of the rocker in terms of in and out and front to back. So I'm happy with that placement. Now we have a good solid foundation. The next video you're gonna see me work on installing a new wheel tub. I have to weld both of these halves together, get them fit up in the car, and then we can work on getting the quarter structure in here, get all that stuff welded together. And then it's just a matter of getting the quarter on, the roof skin, fixing the gutters, treating all this rust, and fixing a little bit of rust on that side. So still a lot of work to go, but that was the, that was one of the big steps. Before we cut the car completely apart, I was nervous about replacing the rocker because I had to get underneath the quarter in the quarter structure. But since we completely cut the car apart to fix all the crash damage, it actually made replacing the rocker pretty easy. So hopefully the rest goes together smooth. I spent a lot of time mocking it up, tweaking stuff, doing a little trimming to get everything to fit. Like I said, I cut a little bit off the front to splice that area. Other than that, I really didn't have to modify this thing too much and it fit pretty well. So hopefully everything continues that way and we'll get this thing wrapped up here pretty quick. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I have a lot of work to do. So I'll catch you guys later.